Is your Honda S2000 starting to leak oil from near the front of the engine? This piece of towel paper is soaking the oil leak. It could need new O-rings around the timing chain tensioner. So we will need the two genuine O-rings from Honda. So these are the tools I used. There's a 10 millimeter socket wrench with an extension. Need this bolt with the same thread as the inside of the timing chain tensioner. This one's got an Allen head so I used this to turn it. Locking pliers to hold it. Magnetic tool after you drop the bolt on the floor. Pick tool. Dental probe's good. Mini ratchet screwdriver for the force to tighten up the screw at the end and mini torque wrench start by disconnecting this sensor plug you can see the clip on the underside that needs to be squeezed this plate covers the oil screw bolt Undo the plate which has two 10mm bolts. This does not allow removal of the TCT. Removal of the two 10mm bolts near the base of the TCT will allow its removal. This is one of the bolts. The TCT comes out and the piston is at full length. You can see I'm holding one of the retaining bolts. This shows the flat screw over the oil bolt that is tightened when you reinstall. Keep plenty of rags ready as it's pretty messy. So you can see the two retaining bolts here on the TCT. This is the cover that covers the flat oil bolt screw. We can see the two O-rings that need to be replaced. The piston comes out. There's a central spring. There's a worm drive gear inside. We need to remove this screw. The five millimeter bolt will go inside to rewind the TCT. We carefully remove the old O-rings. Be careful not to scratch the body of the TCT. Let's compare the new O-rings with the old ones. The new one's flexible and rounded. The old one's flat and brittle. The old and new look completely different. Put some engine oil on to allow the new O-rings to slip on. The rear oil bolt screw was really tight to remove. I placed it into a soft jaw vise. This spanner is used for increased force. Once removed we can access the worm drive screw thread. You will see later that we replace the oil screw bolt when the TCT is reinstalled. The worm drive has an internal thread that is 5mm. We screw the 5mm bolt inside the worm drive. When the worm drive is turned it moves the large spring down. This in turn moves the piston down. Sometimes they discuss sandblasting a slipping worm drive. This one doesn't slip. 
The 5mm bolt is screwed into the worm drive. This pulls the piston back so you can reinsert the TCT. This shows the sequence for reassembly. To rewind the piston, we insert the 5mm bolt. Turning the bolt clockwise will drive the worm gear back. This will pull the piston back down. When the piston is back, you can put a retaining pin in to hold it. This shows a piston held back with a retaining pin. Instead of a, a retaining pin to hold the piston down, we use mini vice grips to hold the bolt. If you put a piston retaining pin, you have to remove this cover to re get to the pin. This technique avoids removal of the front access screw. Okay, this, this thing with the two holes is on the left. Put it in like this, put it in this hole, and then line up these bolts. And then line up that bolt and it slips in there. And then start screwing this screw up. This one. That one. Oh frick. Been hard to do with one hand. You make sure this starts to go in like this. Get it right in and undo the locking plier. There, hand tighten that right up. Get it down here. Undo this locking plier. Like that. And you're going to undo this screw. Use this Allen bolt. Undo this thing. Hope that comes out. Yep, there it goes. There it is. Right there. Now you're going to put the little screw that's to go back in. This screw's got to screw in and then this cover. This screw back in. I'm going to use this thing for the force. Okay, so I've got this screw. Let's stick it back in this hole. And wind it in like this. And then we're gonna use this mini wrench in here. This screw. Then we're gonna put this back on. It's got the silver screws and the shorter bolts. And a flattened O-ring. Thanks for watching.